In this video, we will study about the microeconomics and macroeconomics. See, when you study the economic problems, for a smaller economic unit, like for an individual household or for firms then it is your microeconomics microeconomics means what is micro a small very small so when you're studying any of the economic problem on a smaller level on a individual level then it is your microeconomics and what is your macroeconomics is the study of economic problem related to the economy as a whole. See, when you are studying a demand for individual then it is your microeconomics right but when you are studying aggregate demand for the whole country then it is your macroeconomics same way if you are studying a supply for a particular producer then or a particular industry or a particular firm in that industry then it is your microeconomics. But when you are studying an aggregate supply for all the industries in the uh, country then it is your macroeconomics. So macroeconomics is like study for an individual or a smaller unit from the whole of the economy. But when you study the whole of the economy, then it is your macroeconomics. Let's study the difference between. Number one is studies economic problem for an individual household. or industry then it is your micro when you are studying economic problems at the level of economy as a whole then it is your macro. Second is microeconomic is basically concerned with determination of output and price for an individual firm or industry. Right? See what will be your production cost, what will be your output, and what will be the uh, what will be the price that you fix for the particular product you, you will sell in the market. You it is being studied for you. You are an individual. So it is, if that is studied for a particular firm or industry, then it comes into the micro level. But when it is studied for the whole economy, it is the macroeconomics. So it is, basic, it is concerned with determination of output and price for an individual firm or industry that is your microeconomics macroeconomics is it is concerned with Determination of 
aggregate output and general price level in the economy as a whole then it is your macro Study of microeconomics assumes that the macro variables remain constant. That is, it is assumed that aggregate output is given while we are studying the determination of output in price for an individual firm or an industry. So, in this, the macro variables are constant. In this, Micro variables remains constant. In the fourth difference, you can uh, write the scope of study. That is, this is for individual demand, but individual supply, producer behavior, consumer behavior, your production theories, your price determination of a firm. These are the scope in this you can write your aggregate demand aggregate supply your price determination of the whole economy and you can write national income so everything that you will study in your macroeconomics will become your scope of macroeconomics everything that you will study in the micro will become the scope of the microeconomics so these are the four different second that you can easily write in your micro and macroeconomics I hope you liked the video. Please download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.